So when people ask me like, how do you make sure that change is least disruptive for the business and keep your employees happy? My employees know that their happiness is their choice, their business that I can't keep another person happy. When I first saw a typical change management that was so focused on keeping employees happy, the thing it lacked was any accountability on the employee side. And in the short term, dependency feels good to folks. In the long term, they will grow to hate it because they're also dependent on you for their very survival. So when I first did a change management class, we had the room filled with posters of what leaders needed to do to make change least disruptive to the people. We needed to communicate it and define that change and have super users and train people up and have go live support. And there was like thousands of things leaders needed to do. And so I just asked what do employees need to do? And the facilitator had no answer. It was like, wait for it, critique it when it comes, get in drama around it. And that's when I gave birth to business readiness, which is about focusing on how do we, as leaders and employees, deliver ourselves up ready, willing, and able in order to be able to deliver on what the business requires in the current moment. And too many times when a change comes, we're catching all the people up to where they should already be and then trying at the last minute, do the impossible, which is get unprepared people to carry off great things. And if you were hiring a startup team, you would not hire the least qualified people you could find. But many times in change, we're like, we have to do great things, and who do I have around me? The least qualified people I can find. And why are they underqualified? Because I've coddled them for 10 years. And so, there's, there's this whole mismatch about how I need to bend reality for the people so it's consumable instead of people being able to consume reality as it comes.